Hello everyone, Teresa Benson, Product Marketing Manager here at Red Lion Controls, continuing our series on alarms and triggers. Today we're going to work with data match and mismatch triggers, which are very similar to the alarms uh, that we see here. In this case, we have a data mismatch alarm. When this value does not equal the set point, it is active or red. As soon as it is no longer a, a live alarm, we saw it turn gray briefly because it's in wait accept mode at that point. If we go ahead and select it and accept it, it will turn olive until it is not true anymore, at which point it will disappear. Go back and look at the previous episode if you want to know how to set this up. Uh, today what we'll do is turn a light on and off depending on the status of that value tag in comparison with the set point. So let's come over to Crimson. Here's our data mismatch alarm. Let's go to the triggers area. So we have this light flag tag and we're going to change that value today based on data match or data mismatch. Match. So when the value tag equals set point, we're going to come to resources, drag set point over. What do we want to do? We want to have that light turn on. So light equals true. We could also say light equals one. It's a binary uh, tag. Now if it's mismatched, we want that uh, to be false. So I'm going to choose light equals false. Okay, so we've got when the data matches set point, turn the light on. If it does not match, turn the light off. Let's come over here and work with our indicator primitives. So I've gone into the resource pane, gone to primitives, indicator primitives, and I'm actually going to put two lights on the screen. One for when the uh, data matches and one for when it does not match. Now remember, we only have that one light flag tag, so we're going to have to uh, be a little creative about how we get this red light to light up. Let's go ahead and label these. I'm going to core primitives. I'm going to drag this over and this will be my match light. It is white on white, so let's go ahead and change that to, I don't know, green because we're using the green light. I'm going to go ahead and smart duplicate that and bring it over. I know already mismatch is a longer word than match, so I need to make that a little bit bigger. We'll say mismatch here, change it to red because that's our red light. Now I need to tell the primitive itself, the indicator itself, what I want it to do when. So I'm going into the properties for that light. And in this case, what I want is when light equals true, I want it to turn on. And when light equals false, I want this light to turn on. So by uh, extension, in the other instance, it will turn off. We see this turn on right now because the light flag tag is uh, currently zero. If I put a one in our simulate as area, we'll see the green light turn on and the red light turn off, which is exactly what happened. Okay, let's send this to our HMI and see what happens up on the screen. All right, so currently there is a mismatch between the value and the set point, and so the red light is on. I can go ahead and change this. Maybe I make it four. We'll see this pop on briefly before turning off. It is that easy to set triggers in Crimson. These triggers can trigger programs. They can set values like what we have. They're really powerful and have the ability to do a lot, and still we haven't done much in the way of coding. Look for more tips and tricks with some more details on other alarms in future episodes.